go. Hi, uh, welcome to the Amiibo Repair Centre. Uh, we're going to have a quick look at the uh, Bose Sound Dock Portable. Uh, just really an overview of the, the dock. Um, if yours isn't working, uh, a few quick tips to try and help you understand why it's not working. And then we're going to go on and do a connector replacement procedure uh, on the second video, which will uh, hopefully give you enough confidence to go ahead and buy the replacement board once you decide that's what you need and to fit it. So the first thing to do is, you know, you've got the dock here, um, take the battery off. You can do everything you need to do uh, without the battery fitted. So there's a key keyway in the back of the battery, you just slot the battery off. That's in the instruction book, you don't need me to show you how to do that. So the dock will power up and work and function without a battery and that's quite important because if you remove the battery you've actually isolated the battery as a cause of the fault. So if you go through this diagnostic procedure and uh, it works without the battery and then you put the battery back and everything goes pear shaped and doesn't work for you then it's probably the batteries that's at fault. We don't repair the batteries, they're all sealed. Um, if you need a new battery you're going to have to go and buy one. Um, so here we are, here's a dock. Um, the main culprit usually is this little fellow in here. They can look pretty good condition, the docking connector. But, you know, if they've been um, mistreated, they're a bit like a, a wine glass, they work fine until that instance when um, they get a bit of bad treatment, you lever the thing forward or the pod forward in your, in your dock or you spill drink or water or liquid on it and then, hey presto, it stops working and the, the dock is uh, no longer usable. Around the back, you've got this, uh, everyone should know about this, is the auxiliary in socket. We get quite a lot of docks come in with the uh, a 3.5 millimeter jack plug broken off in the socket and of course you know basically if there's something jammed in there then the chances are your dock won't work because it'll be expecting input from the uh, auxiliary socket so the best thing is have a quick look down the hole and you should be able to see the metal contacts inside by peering inside you can see that Nico but um, slowly there you go so it should be nice and clear and empty nothing broken on the side. So the next thing to do is to apply the power and when the power goes in you can hear a beep. There's two beeps in fact. Now if you hear that beep that's a really good sign because that means the electronics is working. It means the microprocessor inside here that does all the sound processing makes it sound great. It's booting up. It means that generally the dock is working and if you touch the, uh, the volume controls at the side you can see a little green light coming on the front. That's a pretty good sign. That may mean the thing's working. And provided there's nothing stuck in your jack socket, and you open the dock and you place in a uh, iPod, and you get no sound, then the chances are it's your docking connector. Now I've seen maybe a couple that weren't jammed it down to the docking connector, but generally speaking, it's the docking connector. And you can order a new board from uh, the Invivo website. And the next video we're going to do is going to show you how to change the docking connector. So um, that's about, about it really. If you plug the power in, you get the beep, the volume controls operate, there's nothing stuck in the back, then the chances are your docking connector is faulty. Okay, so look at the next video that's coming along. Uh, it'll be somewhere in the listing after this one, and that'll show you the detailed procedure on how to change the docking connector. And that's about it for the, uh, the Bose Sound Dock Portable.